but I'm actually at uh, the Kennedy Town polling and then turned counting center where more than half hour ago or more than an hour ago, I should say, that a pro-democracy candidate, uh, Cherry Wong, was confirmed as the winner uh, for this particular constituency. And we are seeing this uh, territory-wide, really. Uh, so Hong Kong really waking up uh, to a new dawn. Uh, politically speaking, of course, where the political landscape has changed irrevocably, uh, we are seeing the pan-democratic camp possibly winning a landslide victory of 9 to 1 compared to the pro-establishment parties. And that's left uh, the pro-establishment camp very sore, which political analysts say really is a payback for their initial support for the now withdrawn anti-extradition uh, bill. Uh, Horace Cheung, he is an executive counselor, uh, part of the inner cabinet that advises uh, Chief Executive Carrie Lam. He says that it's too early to uh, jump to conclusions as to what this particular election results show. But he did say that uh, during his campaigning that he felt that his party was under uh, threat of violence. He says that his uh, central committee uh, party meeting will also be held later on Monday to discuss the election results as it stands. Uh, another upset, of course, was uh, Federation of Trade Union Pro-Establishment Party, uh, Alice Mark. Now, she squarely blamed Chief Executive Carrie Lam for the FTU losing her seat. Uh, she says that she's been in the uh, Kwai Ting district for doing grassroots works for more than 26 years, and that really this particular election wasn't about doing the good work uh, that she's done in her constituencies, but rather about the political stance each uh, political party took. Uh, then we, of course, had uh, Junius Ho, which was another upset. Now, the outspoken pro-Beijing legislator was also running for a district council seat. More famously, though, uh, he was recently stabbed while canvassing for votes. He had a minor stabbing in injury. And, of course, many here had actually uh, held him responsible for the Yunlong attack uh, back in July on commuters as well as protesters, uh, which had, of course, uh, led to a groundswell of protests on the streets. Uh, he lost his seat and he says, uh, visibly stunned and upset, that it was an abnormal and regrettable decision. And he says in his Facebook posting that heaven and earth uh, has been turned upside down. Now, among the heavyweights in the pro-establishment camp, it was only Starry Lee. She is the chairperson uh, of the DAB party, the biggest party here in Hong Kong, that managed to keep her seat. But we are hearing that, for example, the DAB party has lost 156 seats and only won 21 seats. That's nearly all of the 170 plus seats uh, that they put into this particular district council election. So uh, as it stands right now, the polling stations that have turned into counting stations because of the uh, extraordinary record number of voter turnout today. Uh, many of these uh, counting stations are still counting as we speak. They were supposed to hand back these facilities back to the respective communities by 6 a.m. But as it stands right now, they are still counting in certain districts. Right, Roland. So as they continue to tally up these numbers, and if the trend continues that uh, the government is going to be dealt a drubbing in this district council election, you know, how is the government likely to be expected to react to the results so far? Yeah, we've not had any reactions from the government as yet. But of course, uh, Chief Executive Carrie Lam uh, submitted a vote yesterday, and she was asked really about whether this particular election would be a referendum on her administration, she, to which she would only say that voters uh, will take into account all factors when putting in their vote. So she sidestepped side, side that question, so to speak. But she did say that this particular election uh, was challenging uh, to actually put together simply because of the unprecedented social and political unrest on these streets. And, but it is clear that this, at, at this particular election that it was relatively peaceful and calm and that uh, it has been by far an open and fair election. We have even had independent uh, uh, election uh, 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 oversight su supervision from uh, outside of Hong Kong actually attesting to that.